Hey guys, it's Shayna and today I'm going to show you how to do my updated braid out. Um, it's actually kind of a story that goes along with it, so I'm going to tell you the whole thing. But before I do that, I am going to be using the Curly Twirl line, which I absolutely love because my hair looks amazing. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start off with the Curly Twirl Shampoo. I really, really like this shampoo because a little goes a long way. And of course, you guys know that I use my scalp massaging brush. And then I rinsed out the product. Next, I used the Deep Curl Mega Mask. The mask is very thick. It completely hydrates your whole head. So I go ahead and put that on my edges. And then I wrapped my hair up in a bun and left it for about 5 or 10 minutes. Then I came back and rinsed that product out. And I'm loving this line because they actually remember to include a protein in the line. It is very important to put the protein back in your hair. If you over condition your hair, it can affect your curls. Now I'm going to take a couple of drops of this Argentastic oil. Literally all you need is a couple of drops and you just rub it throughout your hair. And I'm gonna break my hair down into four sections, detangle it, and twist it up. When I got out of the shower, I used the Olive All Over Body Butter, and this stuff is super hydrating. My skin is like glowing. So now I'm gonna go back to my hair and use the Curl Pop Power Cream. It makes your style work. It's a very slippery formula, so it's very easy to work with. And I'm also going to use the Custard Styling Gel to hold my curls in place. The products are very slippery, so they are very, very easy to work with, and you don't have to worry about flaking. So I'm going to break my hair down. This is how I would do a twist out. You saw my original braid out video. It's this, I'm parting my hair the exact same way. The only difference is that I'm doing two strand twists. So if you don't know how to two strand twist, you'll just take two strands of hair and twist them over each other. And every time you bring one around the other, you'll incorporate more hair. Do not, I repeat, do not take hair from the other section because that is going to affect your takedown. Once you get to the end of your scalp, you'll just two hand twist all the way down to the bottom and keep twirling the ends of your hair around your finger. Once I get my whole head twisted, I'm going to put a bantu knot at the bottom of the twist because I don't like sleeping with perm rods in my hair and this is a lot more comfortable to me. So I put my scarf on, went to sleep, got up the next morning and I put a little of that Argentastic oil on my hair. So you're seeing my facial expression because I'm realizing that my hair did not completely dry. If my hair had completely dried, this style would have been it would have been amazing but since it didn't I'm just gonna go ahead and take my hair down and I'm showing you this part because I'm telling you when your hair completely dries it looks amazing but even though my hair didn't dry my hair still looked really good it looked like it was just a wash and go but my curls were a lot looser but since my hair is wet I just pulled my hair up into a ponytail and that night I decided to do a braid out so I parted my hair into the four sections again I added a little bit of water and combed through my hair and then I did the four French braids the top two go to the side and the back two go completely back so I bobbed pin my hair up and I do that personally because that way you don't have to worry about shrinkage. Before I pin the back two up, I pulled the top two braids back to the base of my neck and secured them with a rubber band. So when the braids are taken down, it completely reminds me of Bye Felicia and that's one of the biggest reasons why I pin them up. I'm going to start taking my hair down. I'm literally pinching up the braid and the braid is unraveling itself. And once I get to the part that is cornrowed, I will take one strand at a time and see it all the way through so that my hair doesn't tangle. This is by far one of the most hydrated and best looking twist outs that I have ever done.
Like seriously, look at the definition. My hair has been in the braid out for the past three days and it, I still have definition. So I'm gonna continue taking the braids out all over my head. And again, you're just literally pinching the braid to unravel it. And once you get up to the cornrow part, you're just seeing that one section all the way through so that your hair doesn't get tangled. You can very gently separate your curls. I normally take my thumb and put it in between the curl and kind of follow it down all the way through so that my hair doesn't get frizzy. And you can see like my hair is completely defined. And then I throw my hair over to the side and I shake fluff all around so that I can cover up the parts. Alright guys, so this is the final look. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share this video. P.S. Don't forget to order your shirts. Also, follow me on social media or check out my blog. The links are in the description box. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.